Hello all, welcome to SolidWorks Tutorials. In this video, I will show you the motion study of an attend bolt. To do motion study of an attend bolt, we need to start an assembly file. To do that, I'm going to press Ctrl N. Here, I'm going to choose assembly instead of part. OK. Here we have the design canvas and we don't have any parts here. Instead of creating a part, I'm going to drag them from design library the best part about solidworks is that you don't have to create parts all by yourselves sometimes you can import them from design library and you can use it for your design you can use them for your assemblies you can use them for motion study etc to import a part from design library you can click on this option here it says design library click on that and this is how you'll see initially you can see toolbox and you can see solidworks content click on toolbox and then you can see all these folders here uh, now I'm gonna choose ANSI metric and I need a nut and bolt first I'm gonna grab a nut open nuts folder and then open hex nuts folder I'm gonna select this nut and drag it onto the work plane or canvas here on the left side you can see the specifications you can change the size for now I'm gonna choose M12 and I'll leave these options as the as it is click OK press escape to get rid of the extra part now if you see this nut this face doesn't have any threads so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add threads to this face to do that I'm gonna right click over here by clicking on the part and then I'll click on this option which says open part now I'm actually opening the part and I'm gonna make changes to this part you can add certain features to the part or you can make some small changes to the part as per your requirements now I'm gonna add threads to this face to do that I'm gonna select this drop down button here and then select thread now when we select thread option or when we select thread feature we can see this dialog box here we need to select the edge of the cylinder to do that I'm gonna select this edge and this we can take it as optional we don't really need to select this option unless and until it is really needed right now we don't need this so I'm not gonna select any optional location start location and under end condition instead of blind I'm gonna choose up to selection now after selecting up to selection you need to specify the edge or face so I'm going to specify this edge as end location and uh, under specification if you see the type it says metric tab just leave it as it is and size I'm going to choose M12 1.25 you can change it if you want to have an M12 nut you can change it to M12 1.5 or M12 1.75 but for now I'm going to choose M12 1.25 and for inner face or inner surface it's going to be cut thread remember that and um, the thread options it's going to be right hand thread click OK now we have threads on this face what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the assembly file so I'm gonna open this assembly file So here we have the assembly file and you can see that the component is updated here. Now I'm going to import a nut. Sorry, I'm going to import a bolt. So click on bolts and screws here and I'm going to choose a, a hexa head. So I'll choose this bolt and I'll drag it onto the work plane. Here the size is going to be M12 because we took this size as M12 so I'm going to keep this as M12 length and thread length doesn't matter for now so I'm just going to leave them as it is okay now even this bolt doesn't have any threads on its surface so I'm going to add some threads on its surface right click on the bolt and open part now I'm going to make some changes onto the surface of the bolt by opening the part 
now we have the part file here I'm going to add some threads so go to whole wizard select thread and for edge of the cylinder I'm going to select this edge so this is the starting location of the thread and here under end conditions I'm going to choose blind and the depth I'll leave it as 40 for now and type is going to be metric tab and remember I have used M12 1.25 so I'm going to use the same number here and for outer surfaces it's going to be extrude thread and for inner surfaces it's going to be cut thread so now I'm going to choose extruded thread and the thread options and under thread options it is going to be right hand thread again okay now you can see the threads on the on this face I'm going to open the assembly file again so here we have the assembly file you can see threads on both the body parts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mate click on mate now instead of using standard mate I'm going to use mechanical mate here and under mechanical mate I'm going to choose screw now we need to select entities to mate so this face and this face are going to be in mate so I'm gonna select this face I'm gonna select this face and I want to select this face now they are in mate click on ok so I'm gonna close this dialog box now the nut and bolt are in proper mate so we can't change this because this one is fixed whereas this is in float condition always make sure that in order to do motion study on or in order to do any assembly properly you need to have the parts in float condition initially so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to float and this is already in float so i'm not going to make any changes to this so you can see as the bolt is moving upwards the sorry you can see as the nut is moving upwards the bolt is getting rotated because of the mate so i'm just going to leave it this way now I want to do motion study to this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this motion study here and if you see this diamond shaped things here these are timestamps this timestamp here is for assembly it's for the whole assembly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this let's say some 18 seconds maybe and I'm gonna add a motor right now so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on this option here which says motor now this asks for motor location so this is going to be the motor location so I'm gonna select this face and the motor is rotating at a constant speed uh, and the speed is 100 rpm so I'm gonna leave it that way click OK so to see the motion study what we need to do is we need to calculate the simulation so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate it, the motion study so to do that I'll select this option which says calculate click on calculate now you can see the bolt rotating and the nut is going down or nut is coming out So here we have a proper mechanical mate and the mate is screw type so which is why you can see this motion clearly we can change the speed of this we can just check it with a different speed I, I'll make it to 2x and then after you calculate it's going to get rotated at a faster speed which is basically two times the regular speed uh we can change this motion we can change it to reciprocate and once we change it to reciprocate you can see the nut going up or this one getting 
rotated in a reverse direction so this one if you select reciprocate it always reciprocates you can see that it went from motion i'm gonna stop this so this way you can do the motion study you can do the motion study analysis for an intent bolt in solidworks